بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today I'm going to talk about what is meant by inflammasomes. Inflammasomes are a group of cytosolic multi-protein complexes that belong to the innate immune system. They play a key role in the immune system response to infections and other forms of tissue damage and environmental toxins. They trigger inflammation, a process that help, uh, helps the body defend itself against these threats. Inflammasomes are activated by various stimuli such as pathogen associated molecular patterns or damage associated molecular patterns and trigger the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. The important one is interleukin 1 beta uh, which is mainly responsible for inflammation and interleukin 18. Also, inflammasomes activate gastermin D responsible for poor formation, leading to pyroptosis and cytokine release. So, inflammasomes here are very important into two processes. Uh, the first one is inflammation, the second one is uh, pyroptosis. Inflammasomes are formed by the assembly of several proteins, uh, including cytosolic sensor proteins. So, the first one is uh, cytosolic sensor protein. Uh, the second one is adapter protein and a caspase enzyme. The sensor protein recognizes specific stimuli and activated adapter protein, which helps to bring the, the sensor protein and other proteins together and in turn activates the caspase enzyme. Uh, in this diagram, we can see uh, how inflammasome complex is activated. For example, we have here uh, node-like receptor B3 inflammasomes. So to activate the sensor part of this inflammasome, we need two signals, a priming signal and activating signal. When the uh, sensor part of uh, node-like receptor B3 is activated, uh, an adapter protein uh, ASC is recruited. Uh, ASC is the abbreviation of apoptosis associated spike like protein containing card. This uh, adapter protein will bridge between the sensor part of the inflammasomes and the uh, procaspase 1 uh, to form the inflammasome complex, which will uh, work like a platform for uh, activation of procaspase 1 to form the active uh, caspase 1. And this caspase 1 will in turn activate the uh, pro interleukin 1 beta uh, into an active interleukin 1 beta and the same will be done with interleukin 18 and gastermin D and uh, then this will go outside the cell and uh, starting the process of inflammation. So the caspase enzyme uh, cleaves pro inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin 1 beta and interleukin 18 into their active forms which can be released from cells and trigger an inflammatory response. These cytokines play a key role in the immune response by attracting immune cells to the site of infection or tissue damage and promoting inflammation. There are several different types of inflammasomes. Each of the, one of them is activated by different stimuli. For example, not like receptor B3 inflammasomes is activated by a wide range of stimuli, including bacteria, viruses, and certain types of stress or damage to the cells, while uh, AIM2 inflammasomes, which uh, the abbreviation for absent in melanoma 2 inflammasomes, on the other hand, is specifically activated by the presence of DNA from viruses uh, or other pathogens. Inflammasomes are important for the immune system ability to respond to various types of stress, but also they can contribute to the development of chronic inflammation and diseases, uh, including uh, autoimmune diseases, infection, infections, metabolic, neurological, and inflammatory conditions such as arthritis. So understanding of the role of inflammasomes in these conditions 
may help to inform the development of new treatments. Uh, so research into inflammasomes is ongoing and scientists are working to better understand their role in various diseases and to develop targeted therapies that can modulate their activity. Thank you.